Hey guys, how you doing? So we got a scan tool review today. Uh, Xtool sent over their D5S scanner. And this is a budget friendly scan tool. And uh, we're going to take this thing out of the box. We're going to take a look at it and see what it'll do. Of course you got your instruction manual there. And then you've got the actual scanner here. Good looking little scanner. Does not have a camera or a kickstand. And then what you've got up here on top is you've got USB-C connector uh, for charging and for connecting to your computer. you got expanded storage slot for an SD card. This is not a Bluetooth uh, scanner, so you do have a, a OBD cord that's going to connect here to the serial port. Then, of course, your on-off button. It does come with a uh, USB-C cable. So let's turn this on. I'll read you off the specs, and then we're going to connect it up to a car. So, uh, this scan tool, th there's something unique about this scan tool also that I haven't seen on another scan tool. But it does have a 1.2 gig dual core processor, 32 gigs of memory built in it. It's Linux OS, not Android. That's unique. I, I haven't seen another scanner that uses the Linux operating system. So that's pretty cool. We'll have to see how it, how it functions. Uh, the screen size is a 5.45 uh, TFC screen. Uh, it is touch. Uh, it is touch screen. It has a resolution of 1440 by 720. It's a four system scan tool. So what it scans is your engine control module, your transmission control module, your ABS, and I believe your airbag module has 15 plus resets or special functions we'll take a look at them uh, does auto ID the car uh, something else that's unique about this scan tool is it is FCA compatible so if you have a uh, Dodge or Chrysler or Fiat vehicle that's 2018 or newer you'll be able to register this tool on the auto auth website and be able to connect up to those newer Chrysler vehicles uh, it has a 3150 milliamp uh, built-in battery it is can fd compatible has four and one graphing and free lifetime updates so let's now this does not have screen recording so i'm going to have to just hold the camera on the screen hopefully you're going to be able to see everything okay uh i'm going to get the uh cord connected to it and we're going to get it in a car and we're going to take a look at it one thing I like about it is the cord is nice and long. Probably at least a five foot cord. The nice thing about these small scan tools like this is you can keep these in like your glove box or your console. That you'll be able to uh, reset your codes, uh, do a, a few special functions if you need to, and uh, have some nice live data. All right, guys, now, like I said, uh, this does not have screen recording, so we're just going to have to uh, get through it the best we can. So I'm just going to hit auto ID or auto scan. Diagnosis button would be where you would uh, manually put in your car, the year, make, and model. Now this is the first time I've used it, so it is doing a firmware upgrade. I'm just going to do auto detection and it is a 2013 Camaro now this says engine must be off I've got it running because the battery is weak on this vehicle and I don't want to uh, um, run the battery down so there's the four modules I mean that was a nice quick scan and looks like you can do a report uh, pause DTC report clear all DTCs now let's do a What's the report show? Okay. Let's go ahead and go into the ECM. We'll do automatic. And let's see. DTC display, diagnostic. Okay, so what do we got here? Remote vehicle speed, limiting signal message, counter incorrect 
remote vehicle speed limiting signal. Hmm. I have no idea what that means. I'll have to do a little research to find out what that is. Uh, okay, let's go back. Of course, you can clear DTCs. Let's take a look at live data. We'll just do engine data. Everything's real responsive. And I don't know if you guys have ever used the Linux operating system, but it, it's much more responsive than Microsoft uh, Windows. So let's see here. We can uh, see how we. I'm just going to. I don't even know what I'm selecting. I'm going to select. Okay, so you can select up to four PIDs, show selected. And let's see here. What's this? But okay, there's the graph. Okay, what if, let's see. Yep, so you can do an individual graph like I'm doing here. Rev the engine up a little bit, see if we can get some movement out of that. Looks like it's doing real good on as far as how fast and responsive it, it is. It's, in, it's instantaneous graphing. I have no idea what this is, fuel pressure regulator. I got a little movement out of that one. Like I said, I did not pay attention to uh, what I was picking. I just picked them. And there's no graph fuel pump enable command. There's not going to be any graphing on that. So the graphing looks like it works great. And like I say, it'll overlay. And, you know, up here it shows you what colors or, or what. Rev the engine up a little bit, show you what it looks like when it's... So the graphing's real responsive. Looks good, different colors. So you can kind of keep them uh, isolated. Uh, secondary air injection data. That's all the different. That's GM puts these pre-selected uh, data pits, which is kind of nice. It, it, it kind of saves you some time from having to manually pick them out. Uh, we got we did live data. You got freeze frame uh, data read ecu information that's always good if you're wanting to get part numbers and stuff from the ecu let's take a look here yeah so there's the part number and software part numbers so if you want to make sure you've got the up-to-date software in your modules you can you can look at that so now let's go ahead do you want to exit yes i do um get out of that of course you got your manual input and this is going to be the same thing you just scroll through your make and model and uh and then if you got your generic obd2 right here i don't think i'm going to even go through that you can do auto scan there's all the different uh formats that it'll scan special functions these are the special functions this is the 15 special functions or what they call resets uh, that you may be able to do depending on your make and model. So, you know, EGR relearn, DPF for you diesel guys, steering angle sensor, electronic parking brake, battery management uh, reset, injector coating, window initialization, uh, throttle body uh, relearn. So, uh, crank sensor, TPMS reset, he headlight maintenance light reset so a nice little scan tool uh, this is sub two hundred dollars i saw it for about a hundred and seventy dollars um so that's not too bad and it looks like it's a very solid uh performing scan tool so far if you hit more you've got your account diagnostic report and your settings so um you know if you're looking for a nice little four system scan tool this is uh this looks like it's a very nice very nice little unit d5s and this was a uh, 2013 camaro anyway we're pretty much done this looks like a nice little scan tool if you're in the market for one take a look at this one 
We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.